please, even if you're melting and you feel like this is the only solution, you're still my dad. Technically the only family I have left. So please, please don't throw your life away like some piece of trash just because you failed. You're a scientist for Ascor's sake. There's always more than one option. You of all people should know that. No, not this time, Papyrus. Huh? Sorry. Death, what are you doing? I told you to leave me alone. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean to. Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! Sands... Oh... Oh no. Not good. How did this even happen? Didn't Dad do some... Please wake up. <laughs> wake up. Papyrus. Wake up. Come on, Papyrus, wake up. Oh, kid, it's just you. Hmm. Uh, kid? What are, what are you doing? <laughs> Jeez, kid! <laughs> Frisk! Frisk, what happened? Are you hurt? Please tell me! Is I'm finally home with my family. It's okay, Frisk. I'm okay. Don't cry, human. I'm here. There's no reason to cry. Aren't you crying? Yeah. I can hear you sniveling. You're crying. Of course not. The Grey Papyrus never cries. <laughs> hmm? Oh, Sans. I was just wondering where you were. Don't worry. Perhaps is fine. Hmm, I didn't see you come in. Oh, wait! <laughs> Shortcut, right? Yep, I was just outside, kiddo. Huh? Good job, kiddo. I'm glad you got to wake him up. So, are we gonna go home soon? Cause I'm bone tired after this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Nice to see you, too? Oh, sorry, brother. I'm just happy to see you. I can see that. Kinda killing me with your death hug here, bro. I thought he said he was fine. Don't say that, Sans. Calm down, bro. You know I was kidding. 
Are you okay? You're acting way more protective than usual. Yes, Sans, I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken right now, but you have nothing to worry about. Okay, if you say so, bro. Hmm? Oh, Frisk, sorry to have gotten so suddenly. But don't worry, the Grey Papyrus is okay. Please stop lying. Huh? Papyrus, I don't understand. You said you were fine, but you just pretty much attacked Sans once you saw him enter the room. You obviously want to talk about something, so talk. Unless you don't trust us or something. Please, if you want to talk, talk to us. Did something happen that we were not aware of? Did... did you... <coughs> have a nightmare? Bro? <laughs> uh, virus! Yes? Sans, can I ask you something? Yeah, bro, what is it? Where is Dad? Uh, oh, wow. I did... You remember him? Wow, I didn't think your... Your memory would ever come back. I knew it would be a long time. You clearly don't remember everything, but the fact that you remember his existence is... Sans, what are you talking about? My memory's been back. My memory has always been... No, it hasn't. Sans, what happened to Pap's memory? Let's just say there was an accident. <laughs> After that, you had pretty bad amnesia. You still remembered your name, remembered me, and that we were brothers. But nothing from before, not dad, not the surface, not anything. But something odd I found out was you somehow remembered Mom. Mom? Well, you knew that she existed, and the reason you have her scarf. Wait a minute. Where is my scarf? Where did it go? I was wearing it. When I went to bed, where did it go? Where is it? Where, where did it fall off? Where did it fall off? This is what you're freaking out about? Don't worry, Papyrus. I think I saw it in Waterfall. I will go and find it for you. I am determined. I will be back soon. You two talk. Uh, Pap, are you okay? No, I'm not. Why didn't you tell me sooner, Sans? I mean, I understand if you didn't want me to remember bad stuff. But why didn't you tell me about Dad? He wasn't, was he? I mean, why wouldn't you tell me that I didn't remember? Pap. Is that what your nightmare was about? You know you can tell me, right? Everything, Everything is fine. Mm-hmm. Well, Pap, when was the last time your eyes glowed? I, I, I don't know, but yes, my dream was about Dad. But that wasn't the entirety of the nightmare. Just, just because you failed to bring Sans back to school. Oh, you leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> hmm. So... I died. That explains the sudden glomp, and the whole thing with Dad is not 100% accurate. First off, you weren't five in the event. From what I remember, you were almost ten. Secondly, the house didn't burn down. We got evicted for some reason. And somehow, you made him more calm in your dream. He was almost going insane in real life. Well, that is until... 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 Sans, you're doing that creepy no eye thing again. Sorry, bro. Yeah, you got the details about the melting part, right? You forgot the thing that, well, <sighs> you were one crazy kid. Sans, I would appreciate if you stop being so vague. Okay, here's the best summary I can come up with. Our father was the head royal scientist once we got into the underground. He tried so hard to break the barrier. When I turned 13, he asked me to help him out in the lab. We spent almost two years trying to find a way without using human souls. He was going insane. And yeah, it was taking a toll on me too, but he was going flat out insane. He would go days without eating and nights without sleeping. We finally had a theory. If a monster had the determination of seven humans, then they would be strong enough to break the barrier. He used himself as a test subject. Before he injected DT into himself, I asked where he got it from. I was not happy with his answer. We got into a fight, and he ran off to the lab. 
He left a note at home. You got to it first, and you were off to the lab. I found it, and it was a suicide note from Dad. I ran to the core and saw you trying to help our melting father from the edge of the core. You lost your footing and almost fell in. He was able to grab my hand, and you, before anything else happened, he saw that I was losing my grip, and I was also about to fall. Then, Dad looked at you and said, "Take care of your brother for me." And then, he threw you up to the ledge and let go of my hand. <sighs> It's all starting to come back now. To think you had that engraved in your memory for so long, and you, you dealt with it all alone because I couldn't remember. I could have saved him, saving you. I, I, I could have saved two lives, but instead I destroyed them. I wasn't strong enough. Why couldn't I save him? Why did I have to lose my memory? Why?